window apart from remove the tyrant. Well, these tyrants have actually, you know, two world wars were fought in the Middle East, weren't they? There was a devastated place, you know, unbelievably des devastated. Uh, Ms. Ms. And Bukhari, they did build the, when it. We, when, when we talk about <clears throat> the life in uh, Egypt or uh, life in the uh, whole Middle East. Yeah, yeah. Before these uh, dictators or the monarch, monarchs or the um, uh, imperialism, whatever name you give them, yes. these rulers, yes. the life of the common people in the Middle East was, right. was in, in hell. In if you country. remember, the Libya was ruled by Italy. Italy, yes. Okay. One captain can shoot hundreds Libyan Absolutely. without any court hearing, anything. Absolutely. Any, no, he, he don't have to write even in his book how many people no. he has killed today. No, because they're so treated like dogs. If you, they, they're treated like dogs. Unfortunately. Okay. Unfortunately, so very much unfortunately. Money, all of us, really. Okay. So, well, the people, their lives, uh, if you compare with them, mm. is not better now? Or? It, it is better now. I mean, obviously, it could be much, much more better, mm. right? Mm. But I think that in a developing state, when a nation is developing and it hasn't developed institutions to protect it from invasions and obviously mm -hmm. they don't have, they can't defend themselves properly against real, real power like US or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I think democracy, mm -hmm. you know, the, we think it's like blasphemy to talk against democracy, but democracy itself is questioned by many academics as, as if, you know, is it, a, is it a good form? I mean, what does it mean? Is it just going to put a cross in the thing? Does it include any socialist principles like national health care, education, and, and uh, housing, and jobs? So it doesn't include any of these. So all you get at the end of the day is you go and put a cross in the box. That's what you get every four or five years, right? Now, if people are actually living in... in um, in a horrific state, you know, of poverty, and all that resource of, of that nation is wasted because, simply because they don't have education, right? They do not have, they cannot participate in, on a global scale or national scale. All that resource of people is wasted because of poverty. <clears throat> now, do these people want to put a cross in the box or, or do they need housing, they need health care, they need all those other things, especially education, you know, and that's not included in democracy, you know. So we are always wanting democracy, but democracy does not include essential things which make people rise, you know, mm. and, uh, from so their positions. You are against the discrimination. I am very much. You are very much. I have uh, seen a uh, few things here. Yeah. You, you, uh, the slavery, the slaves, or yeah. the discrimination. But we know. I'm not supporting uh, supporting this uh, thesis, but I'm just yeah. saying that uh, known human history. Yes. It is always there. It is always there. Slavery. Slavery. Yes. Nowadays, it's very much humans. less. The, the, today's word is a better word. We, we, we have very less slave, slavery, even the people are shouting against the slavery concept. So do, don't you think the world today is going towards some betterment? So there is a light end of the tunnel. So we are nearly there. Look at Africa. They are, they are playing cricket. They are making movies. They are doing everything. An American president is, is a black now. In this uh, Europe, it was a dark age. The UN was... As what, the head of the UN was a black the guy. UN, yes. So don't you a uh, little bit satisfied from this? Can't you see? Uh, I know it's still far. T light at the end of the tunnel. Or still I, we have to criticize this or we should uh, actually, struggle to reach the light? No, no, wait a second. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I am waiting, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you're trying to say. Mm -hmm. But I think there's massive inequalities in the world, yet, yes. you know, mm -hmm. and majority of the world's population mm -hmm. doesn't have access to proper food and water, you know, or health care, including American population, mm -hmm. you know. And until we get that right, you know, because the reason why we have better living standards now, it... It comes from the fact that new inventions have come into force where we, you know, the food that we grow is, we, you know, we can kind of maximize the space and the time 
to grow more food in the in, you know and and not be not lose it from, to the weather or so who, who is responsible for this all equal uh, not the equal opportunities for the humanity who is who is responsible you think who is responsible for it hmm. i think the people like what's happening in the middle east today hmm. people struggle and they're punished by the state because the state needs to keep them down mm -hmm. so that the you know power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely right and in britain for example when they were wanting better rights for workers and stuff there was there was masses of up, upheaval and there was you know enormous amount of struggle you know before they were given these these things like national health and i think they're trying to take it away now anyway but even in france there was a revolution where people who were denied their rights to resources of the world uh, rebelled and chopped off their kings and queens heads off basically and redistributed the wealth right. when we and, talk about the revolution yeah. before the revolution there is always the huge kind of uh, injustice in injustice, the society yeah. and then somebody uh, just get up and say okay enough is enough But we, we don't accept like and that. people just start gathering behind him and they support that leader and yeah. he he changes the things so what the people are ready in the third world in the, mm. the ignored world and everywhere where is not the equal opportunities people are ready for revolution Absolutely. so who, they should have who, it. we should who, always who support the, those who is the sponsor uh, responsible who what is the hurdle why they can't bring the revolution overnight revolutions cannot happen overnight, overnight. because mm -hmm. there is people in power the okay. rich people no, no. i mean when the, the, everything has been done the pro procedure has been done what the, procedure the ignorance the poverty the they are, they don't have the equal opportunities people who are in ignorance yes. will not know how to rebel they will think this is it so they'll quietly sit there and starve to death really even when there's masses of starvation they don't say well look you know we're going to march on the parliament they don't say that it's people who are slightly above that you know with some knowledge and experience possibly and ideas you know that's when they march and because they know they have the right to the resources of this world it's not just a few people that control the resources and control us but it's our right as well you know because we're born onto this earth and so it's our right to have to to have resources of this world equally like so everyone you, else you don't blame the uh, developing countries they they are the hurdle not